What a great place to work. Is it? I don't know myself. I haven't really wow, been on a boat. look at all these control panels. Yeah, it's like a space shuttle now. Check out the wheel. Check out more of the bridge. Alright, let's check out the wheel. That sounds like my cell phone. Hello? Hi, Barbie. I just thought I would give you a call and tell you about some of the gadgets in your bag. Great! I just found a part of a fingerprint using the infrared lipstick. What oh. do I do now? Now I see it. First of all, take out the compact and brush from your gadget bag. Then you need to use the brush to dust the area with powder to see the fingerprint. When you're done, call me back and I'll explain what to do next. Okay, Becky. I'll call you right back. Alright. So, there's a fingerprint there. So it just kind of just pops in. Okay. Have you noticed anything strange yet? Okay. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to how to. Oh, the powder! I un. Oh, the powder! I get it. Okay, okay. I remembered. So we use this. Hello. Hi, Becky. It's me, Barbie again. We're looking at the fingerprint. What do we do now? Okay, Barbie. This is the really cool part. Put the cell phone over the fingerprint and press the X button. The fingerprint will then be scanned into the phone and sent to the crime computer. You're right, Becky. The cell phone is really a cool gadget. We'll catch up with you later. We've got some scanning to do. All right, so... Uh, now what? Oh, okay, got it. So, apparently just moving the cursor over the gadget makes it work. There we go. I figured it out. Okay, well, mostly the manual helped me. <laughs> A partial of a fingerprint. Use the directional buttons to highlight the fingerprint sample you want and press the X button to pick it up. Next, move the sample into the box in the center of the window and press... Hmm, we didn't get a match. Maybe if we get some more samples, we'll be... Alright, so we got part of a fingerprint. I guess this is how we find the cr criminal? And there was nothing else here, so let's check the ship's wheel. I can wheel. just imagine the captain standing here steering the ship with this wheel. Wow, check out all these buttons. All these buttons. Alright, let's go back to the bridge. So we found our first fingerprint, so that's good. Progression has been made. Check out more of the bridge. I think the the guy should be over here. The captain. Oh, why does he have to wear socks like that? Ugh. We've got a great view from up here. Well, yeah, every captain needs a good view. What's this? Go to the corridor. Okay. Is there anything over here? Captain. Ahoy, Captain. I'm Barbie. Can I ask you a few questions? Hello, Barbie. I'm Edward Smith, captain of the Island Discovery. Edward I Smith. I can't understand why anyone would want to steal from my exhibition. And on my last cruise as well, I don't know what I'm going to do when I retire. I wish there was a way I could take something with me. A little souvenir. So this is your last cruise? Indeed. I'm retiring at the end of the season. A perfect career ruined by these terrible crimes. Who do you think is behind all this? Well, between you and I, whoever it was must be a professional because they haven't left any clues behind. Maybe they were hired by an art collector. That's an interesting idea, Captain. Now that Team Barbie Detective's on the case, 
I'm sure we'll be able to find some clues that will lead us to the thief. Have you seen anything suspicious recently? Like people or things not being where they should be? Well, maybe Misty does seem more distracted than usual. She keeps leaving her things all around the ship. Thanks for the insight, Captain. I think it's time we did some more exploring. The thief must have left some clues behind somewhere, and we're gonna find them. He just runs away. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> just kidding. All right. Um. All right. So let's go through this door as I zigzag my way over there because <laughs> there's no there's no analog sticks on this controller. It's a PlayStation One controller. I am not emulating this game. That looks like one of the ship's crew. Let's go talk to her. Okay, so there's another one. So that way's to the bridge. There's the that cabin. Can I go through this cabin? Nope. So there's only one cabin to go through. And then go to the corridor and to the dining room. Alright. Let's talk to Well, actually no, let's let's go in here first. Check out this room. Scope it out. Make sure there's no fingerprints. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't think there would be anything in here. Thought I'd double check. There must be something in the passengers' rooms later on, because why would they be available to the player otherwise? Hi, I'm Barbie. We're investigating the theft of the missing artworks. Nice to meet you, Barbie. I'm Rosie, the ship's cabin steward. Or at least for the summer I am. Oh, so what happens at the end of the summer? I'm going to college to study journalism. I want to mm, be a famous writer motive. someday. This job is just the beginning of meeting all kinds of interesting people. Wow, a writer. She needs money for college. I'm sure the thief will be a great story to write about. Do you have any theories about who the thief is? I've thought about it a lot, and I think that someone on board the ship is behind the thefts, but I can't figure out who it is. Well, obviously. There are so many suspects. Have you seen anyone acting strangely? seen anything that might help us with our investigation? Julian Jones, the entertainer, has been nervous on stage the past few evenings. He's even been singing uh, out of tune sometimes. <laughs> That's what I picked Thanks up on. Thanks for your help, Rosie. We'd better get on with our investigation now. See you later. But here's the plot twist. I'm the thief and I've... I... I black out sometimes, so I'm the thief. So now I can enter this room because she moved out of the way. So there's got to be something in here. Because you would have had to talk to her. This room has a musical theme. It must belong to the ship's entertainer. But is there anything in here? Let's check out the desk. Yes. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Oh, here's another clue somewhere. I wonder if Mr. Jones can play the guitar as well as he plays the piano. I don't know if I want to find that out. A globe? I don't think this will help with our investigation. Huh, this looks like a music book. Julian must use this for rehearsing his songs. Can I see the music book? I can I can have the proof of if it's really music or not since I am a musician. Why can't we look at the por the portrait? Is there any You're a great detective. What did I find? Oh. Well, look at that. Good work. Here's another fingerprint. Well, there we go. Got another fingerprint. Woohoo! We're two for two. <laughs> Use the directional buttons to highlight the fingerprint sample you want, and press the X button to pick it up. Next, 
Move the sample into Those don't the look box like they go together. The window and set it down by pressing the X button again. If you want to remove a sample, highlight. Press. Hmm. We didn't get a match. May. Press. This is the map screen. You can use this part of the crime computer to see which locations you have visited and decide where you want to go next. This map. Upper, this lower. This is a map. Island one. <laughs> Island two, island three. This is a map of the Goodness top. sakes. Press, press. This is the location. Press. So, does it just list the places I've been? I think so. Okay. And it looks like you can't fast travel, which <laughs> kind of makes sense for this whole of a game. All right, so I think we've... I wish I could look at the portrait up above, but it's not letting me, so... I guess we're good at the desk. They probably only have one fingerprint per, like, area. So, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. Before we're caught in his bedroom. He's like, what are you doing in my bedroom? Don't you be stealing my glove! It's like, dude, chill. So, dining room, we've already been that way, so let's go down the corridor. Alright, here's two more cabins. This cabin. And this cabin. Let's check these out. Ooh! I like this one. I wonder who uses this cabin. I wonder that too, because I totally would. Everything is green, which is the best color in the universe. I mean, come on, it's green. Let's take a look around to make sure we haven't missed anything. I'm trying to. Like this magazine that's randomly on the bed? Why can't we look at that? Is there a reason why we can't? Huh. Well, I tried. I like that room. I want to I want to get that room when I go on this cruise. <laughs> Whoever has that room has good taste. I'll tell you that. Unless you don't get to decide what room you you get when you join this cruise. I think they said it was a cruise. Well, the game is called The Mystery Cruise, Detective Barbie. Oh this my goodness. This must be one of the passengers cabins. Yeah, there's, like, stuff everywhere. Somebody's messy. Let's take a look around to make sure we haven't missed anything. Do you just say that randomly? Because I'm trying to be legitimate here. And it looks like there's, like, literally nothing to look at. There's a jar, picture of a jar, but that doesn't do anything. All right, that's kind of an ugly room. It's like the 70s shag. Sorry, no offense, but really bad taste. <laughs> I prefer the green room. Hey, what's this? There's like medicine or something right there, isn't it? Or sunscreen? Maybe it could be sunscreen. Go to the pool. Wait. Oh, so this is where I came from, the corridor. So yeah, let's go to the pool. Headed to the pool. Because there'll be fingerprints where there's been water. Sure, that makes a lot of sense.